Hello, Middlebury. Um, so this is Miss Robinson explaining to you about what you are expected to do today. Um, for Wednesday, we have a one period class. So we are granting you a independent reading period um, because not everyone has logged in for the first two days. We're hoping that they use this time to catch up on classwork. If you are caught up, I just want to get you familiar with the website we've been using for Lord of the Flies and we've used previously um, for both text and audiobook. Um, specifically, I want to show you the classic audiobook link and the audiobooks link. This is basically the two links that will give you the books that you are going to be probably most interested in. Classic is just what it sounds like. These are very classic kind of adult books. If you are an advanced reader, you may be interested in, in some of these books. You'll notice that a lot of them are from the 1800s. I know Mr. Geiger loves Tolstoy. War and Peace is one of his favorite books. Um, Anne in Green Gables was one of my favorite books as a child. Um, but these might be a little bit advanced. If you're interested, go ahead, check it out. Um, Animal Farm is actually a book that is being taught to the sixth grade right now. I don't know if you guys read it last year or not. I wasn't there. Um, but um, Lord of the Flies is actually one of the book or the book that we are reading right now. Um, so it is an advanced book from 1954, um, To Kill a Mockingbird, we just read from 1960. Um, but uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of all the other books that are available under this link. Um, let's see. This is the link under... Sorry, one second. Audio books. These are a little bit more modern. Um, a Wrinkle in Time was one of my favorite books when I was a child. Um, there's Animal Farm again. Bridge to Terabithia was just made into a movie. Really great book. You may be interested in. A lot of you may have heard of Esperanza Rising. Um, but I just want you to make sure you go through these lists and just take a look. You know, if you click on the name, the title, it brings you to a little um, blurb about what the book is about. This was one of my favorite books when I was a kid. I actually owned a rat and her name was Brisby because there was a movie made out of this book and her name was not frisbee but it was brisbee um, but this book is about if you've not read this book do this is an incredible children's book that every grown-up should know too mrs frisbee is a mouth a mouse a mother a widow and her concern for her children leads her into a great adventure with the rats of nim national institutes of mental health who escaped experiments with heightened abilities and rally about Mrs. Frisbee to save her family. Wonderful story, excellent writing, and a whole lot of good questions to think about, like loyalty and bravery and experimenting on animals and people and love and reason. So again, independent reading is a lot about um, reading for fun, um, not reading to really have to answer questions, but just reading for pleasure. And that's what we what we want you guys to do during independent reading. Um, you guys re might remember Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. If you want to read that again, that's available. Um, Wonderful Wizard of Oz is a great, great story. The movie is a little bit different than the actual book, but that's why it's enjoyable. And The Hobbit if you're interested, is available. Um, again, just go to Book Index and get going. Okay, um, I'll explain a little more in the next slide.